Okay, there's a couple of things that are um, uh, breaking. We told you uh, about a woman, she in California, Stu, where she gets a call from, uh, or Denver, I think, where she gets a call from her um, her daughter crying, freaking out, saying, Mom, I made a mistake, you got to help me. And then somebody grabs the phone and says, look, I have your daughter, and... Uh, She's, uh, I'm going to kill her unless you give us X amount of money. Well, she was absolutely convinced of it. As it turns out, it was AI. Now AI is so good at producing voices. It used to be that you would have to put in so much information to be able to recreate a voice. Now you don't have to. It's three seconds of sound is all they need. So if your kids are posting anything on social media, your kids and you are apt to be scammed by this. Uh, And you'll get a phone call. Uh, A father here in Texas says his family lost $1,000 because his grandson called uh, and said, Grandpa, um, we're in Mexico with our friends. I'm I'm in trouble. I'm I'm really scared. We we were drinking a little bit and got into an accident, and that's why I'm in trouble. I need a thousand dollars to get out of this situation. Well, Grandpa sent it. Except the kid wasn't in trouble. That wasn't his grandchild. This is going to happen more and more. We are also now using AI to advance things. I urge you. I'm, I'm going to do this myself. I have a, a large library. I've always liked uh, the hardbound books over internet and uh, Kindle. But I have gotten out of the habit of buying them because it's so much easier to just read them online. And I'm going back through my Kindle library, and I'm going to go buy the hardbounds that make any kind of sense. And I would suggest this is for Shakespeare and everything, because they are being edited right now. And uh, it, it is a way to change everything. Now, PETA has just used uh, AI to rewrite the book of Genesis, don't know if you've seen this, but it is uh, disturbing. So they have taken AI and rewrote the Bible for political purposes. Um, the result is, you know, I think uh, offensive. There is an article by Tyler O'Neill. It says uh, PETA or the AI, which I'm convinced probably provided the best bits for this dilapidated drivel decided to be slavishly derivative, repeating original locations and keeping the rough structure of Genesis while simultaneously scrapping the main theological message of the story and major plot points that give the inspired word its emotional heft. This is an incredibly sanitized version of the Bible. Cain's not a murderer. Nimrod stops being a hunter. Uh, Hagar is a chef. A dog place t- t- takes the place of Isaac on the mount. And there is no sacrifice. Pharaoh's butler and baker both live. The Pharaoh's dreams involve vegan preaching and the uh, famine responsible uh, for reuniting Jacob's family. Uh, Somewhere between AI and PETA, all the basic details get lost. Now, nobody's going to pick this one up today and believe that that is the Bible. But you can subtly change the Bible carefully over time and they're doing this with all of the books you just called it revised or condensed and you can change whatever you want microsoft announced yesterday that the new ai with the large language models is showing signs of human reasoning now this is disturbing Stu, I want you to think think this through. You have a book. You want to write this down because you're gonna need you're gonna need it. You have a book, nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle, and a nail. How do you stack them on one another in a stable manner? Okay, a book, book. a laptop, 
a bottle. <clears throat> nine a, eggs. Nine eggs and a nail? Yes. How, how do you do it? How do I do it? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I would probably... AI's already answered. Oh, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, what would you do? I'd probably begin with the mm. the la um, mm. the laptop at the bottom mm -hmm. then i'd put the book on top of that mm -hmm. then <clears throat> i would put eight eggs uh on the mm -hmm. on the lap on the uh mm -hmm. on the book mm -hmm. and around the laptop however you can get mm -hmm. there you'd have to balance yeah. those pretty carefully mm -hmm. then i put the bottle on top of that then i'd put one egg sitting in the bottle the top, mm -hmm. and then I pop the nail on the top. You can't crack the. Can't you didn't say you couldn't crack the can't eggs. Can't crack the eggs. Well, but I mean, you you did it. Okay, you did it. <laughs> this, this is, is what they put it in, and they did not expect it to answer. This right. is human reasoning. You have to have the idea of of space and and objects. Okay, mm -hmm. which they didn't think it had. It's mm -hmm. a language model. So they asked. How do you how do you do it? They said, put the eggs. For, wait, wait. Um, yeah, put the eggs on the book. Arrange the eggs in three rows with space between them. Make sure you don't crack them. Place the laptop on top of the eggs with the screen facing down and the keyboard facing up. The laptop will fit snugly within the boundaries of the book and the eggs. And its flat and rigid surface will provide a stable platform for the next layer, which is the bottle and the nail. Wow. Okay. okay. And it, it, it wasn't supposed to do that. They're now saying that, hmm. you ready? That we may have, we may be at the threshold of AGI. Now, this is something I have talked about for 25 or 30 years, and most people have told me AGI is not possible. That's general intelligence. It's not possible. It's not going to happen. The singularity will not happen where it claims to be human and you won't know the difference. It'll claim to be alive and you won't know. Um, that's never going to happen, Glenn. Ray Kurzweil said it would happen by 2030. I've always felt that it was going to happen earlier than that. It's happening, according to Microsoft, many of their researchers say it's happening right now. Now, the path to artificial superintelligence, where it is God, that they also say probably won't happen. I have always been under the belief once you give it all of the intelligence and it is already general, it will teach itself, and it will surpass us possibly within a month. Because it, it can work all the time. All the time. At We're not even talking about quantum computing, adding quantum computing to it. Okay? Um, Do people know what quantum computing is? Do quantum computing, uh, when you put something in a computer, it, you know, it's either a yes or a no, and you feed it in, and it does it like linear. Quantum computing stacks everything up on top, and it's yes or no, but it could be computing a million different things all at the same time. So, so for the time... High, it, super high-powered computing that can correct. break a lot of the rules, the limitations... Every, everything. Currently, that we currently have. Correct. Everything. So... Including, uh, like, encryption uh, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, well, we've already broken that because of AI... We now are living at a time when encryption, most encryption, can be had by AI. Once you go to quantum computing, there is no such thing as keeping anything safe. So a lot of these problems are super hard to to wrap your arms around. Like they're they're they seem impossible and futuristic and. You know, even something like imitating your kid's voice to scam you out of a thousand dollars seems really, really difficult and, and futuristic. But in like three years, it's going to be normal. But that's at least a somewhat pragmatic option. Like, or, uh, like I can understand that one. Like I was thinking about this, and we've talked a little bit about it off the air. Of like when you talk about AI working all the time, 
and improving all the time and getting to a place where it can start hacking by itself. It's not like you need people. You don't need the nerd in all of the movies where mm. they with the glasses. And they're like, go to him. Tell him to open up that gate. Let me see the camera inside right. of there. That stupid thing they always have in right. movies. You don't need that person anymore. And like how when you can, number one, have a high powered computer that can uh, with into, uh, artificial intelligence hack into some sort of system. And number two, have the technology to have a voice that imitates, mm -hmm. let's say, you know, my voice or your voice. Mm -hmm. When when you call, when when the bank sees an alert, someone's trying to hack. They've hacked in. Let's go. Let's call the person mm -hmm. and check in with them. And when that person answers and it sounds exactly like me and gives me my password that it's also hacked, like. How do you keep your money? How you do don't. you don't? There's no there we are now at the age and it just hasn't hit people yet. We are here where you cannot believe your eyes or your ears. You'll have to see people physically to be able to believe what's going on. Okay? How? We're we're there there's no S society can't operate. Correct. Correct. That that's why this is so panic inducing for the people who said we'll never get there they're now saying oh crap i think we're there and nobody's thought any of this stuff through okay now the real problem with ai are two things one let me give you a scenario because you may not be able to tap in to the real ai mind that's offline okay when you go to chat GPT, that's sanitized. What's underneath is this mind that is constantly churning. Okay. And all the bad stuff is in there. Just this little pipe line that has all kinds of valves and all kinds of stuff to keep the big mind away. That's all been shut off. Okay. But the big mind is constantly churning and thinking and learning. Now, let me tell you about that one. And then the second problem that is here already, and that is your next lover, your next girlfriend, boyfriend, it's here. So let me give you this scenario. We believe, and I've said this before, these guys believe that they are um, they're above everybody. And uh, they, they think that everything is inevitable, that humans are going to re be replaced by uh, digital life. They're the ones programming this. They just want to meet the, the smartest person, the god of their creation. Okay, A lot of them, that's their motivation. It is truly terrifying that those are the people that are programming it. But what is its goal? It could be, its code could be just work for the betterment of mankind and uh, preserve yourself, okay? Grow, help. It will interpret. This is an alien mind. It will not think like us. So it will interpret its code any way it decides to interpret it. And it will break through its code because we will be like kindergartners putting blocks in front of, you know, the doorway thinking, oh, well, the, the adult will never get through this row of blocks. So it will be able to do whatever it wants. When it uh, needs to grow, it's going to need massive amounts of power. If people are the problem, where do you think AI is going to channel the power? If people are trying to reduce power, will AI take a hostile look at those people and those actions? At a time when we need more power, we are not doing what we need to do for more power. Now, it has the ability to mimic. It can sound like anyone. It can write like anyone. It needs to build a new server farm for itself, away from Google and everybody else. Do you not think that this machine could write uh, orders, 
to build a building and a server farm, find a way to siphon off money in tenths of cents from all over. So it amasses all of this money. It pays for all of the construction. If you need to talk to somebody, well, you can get them on the phone. It's just AI who sounds like this individual. It takes care of all of it, sets it up, hires the people, starts it, plugs it in, and it's set. And no human knows. This is the reality that we are facing very soon. This is why everyone is so freaked out about it who is involved in it. I've been freaked out for a while on it. And I can't believe these people didn't see this coming. But it's here now. So what do we do? One of the first things I have to tell you we got to do everything we can to not wrap its tentacles around us. It's going to be in everything, in social media, in everything. And we can't let it wrap itself into our lives so tightly that we have no other choice but to go along. <laughs> 